I am Suma from Chemistry Department, Government Science College, NT Road, Bangalore. This is my dear colleague friend, Dr. Shailaja Kumari and Dr. Sia Gireja. And our lab assistants, Sri Ramaya and Sri Ravi Kumar. Uh, dear students, today I am going to show the preparation of hippuric assay, which is chemically known as benzoyl lysine. This is a very simple benzoylation preparation and it is a one stage preparation. This is one of the experiments for fourth semester MSc organic chemistry. The chemicals required for the preparation 1 glycine 1 gram, uh, benzoyl chloride 1.5 ml, 10% sodium hydroxide solution 10 ml and one or two drops of concentrated hexagon. I repeat once again. It is glycine 1 gram, benzoyl chloride 1.5 ml, 10% sodium hydroxide solution 10 ml, which is already taken in the measuring jar and one or two drops of concentrated HCl to make the solution acidic. The apparatus required conical flask, beaker, measuring jar and funnel. The reaction is that glycine reacts with benzoyl chloride in the presence of base like sodium hydroxide Benzoylation takes place forming benzoyl glycine which is commonly called hippuric acid. The mechanism is as follows. I will start with the preparation. Uh, one, point, uh, 1 gram of glycine is taken in a conical flask. sodium hydroxide solution is added to it to dissolve the glycine. Now 1.5 ml of benzoyl chloride is added to the flask. Close the conical flask with a cord and shake the contents vigorously. Till the smell of benzoyl chloride is no longer detected and take care benzoyl chloride is very irritating to eyes you have to wear uh, safety glasses and also lab coats while preparing any preparation in the organic laboratory. Shake thoroughly, continuously. It is a simple one step procedure. Very easy to prepare in the lab. It is just a benzoylation of a, a organic compound. And you all know hippuric acid is a carboxylic acid. It is just prepared by adding glycine to benzoyl chloride. Now we will take ice cold water in beaker. Just to test it, I'll take a small quantity of ice water in a test tube.
also use a capsule to make it acidic. Concentrated hexagon in drop wise to make it acidic. You can make out the solid separating of. Yes, Michael. What is the importance of recrystallization? 
things is needed yes. for any organic compound preparation. Whatever the product that we get will be the crude sample. It will be contaminated with other byproducts also. Yes. So if you want to determine the melting point of the individual compound, yeah. we have to purify the compound. One of the method of purification is the recrystallization. One of the method of identification is also to get a melting, melting point. point. With the help we of have melting to purify point, it. we can so, identify yes. uh, which is the compound prepared. Then we are using hot water because hot it is water. soluble in hot water. water. We need so, not go for alcohol. Any water. other solvent. So it's very easy to yes. recrystallize. Yes. Yes. Also, we can go for alcohol, but it's still is. It no, is whichever the solvent recommended for that yes. particular compound, we can, we can have to use it. That's all. Yes. yes. It depends. Any other doubts? Yeah. Yes. I think, think uh, thank, we will thank uh, uh, Suma yes. uh, for uh, conducting this experiment. I thank Dr. Shari Shamarin for uh, being with us. And, uh, and I thank uh, our principal, Loka Pagoda sir, and our uh, head of the department, Nadrak sir, for giving us this opportunity to conduct this experiment in our lab. Thank you. Also, to our lab assistant, Ramaya, provide all the facilities in the department. Yes. Okay. I'll extend my heartfelt thanks to the head of the department, Professor Natra, and the principal of the college, Dr. Loka Pagoda, and my fellow colleagues who have given this uh, opportunity and the encouragement to make this video. And I thank our lab assistant Ramaya who has given all cooperation for the conducting the video. Thank you. So and thank also thank Nitish. Yes, yes. Thank you both Nitish, Nitish and Lydia.